Akatsuki Irid is a typical streamer and gamer finishing a game. Suddenly he gets a mysterious message on his screen inviting him to play the closed beta of the game The Ones Within, Genome. The message further says he will be soon picked up. He cannot either transfer his account to another player, deny playing it or he will be punished. Akatsuki then opens his eyes without no idea how he got into that new place. He meets some other players Karin and Kaikoku but they start getting chased down by a giant panda forcing them to run. Akatsuki's friendly personality kicks in and he decides to befriend the panda as both have problems with allergies. A man wearing an alpaca mask appears to congratulate them on completing the first phase of a stage in the game and takes them to a room with several other players. The players introduce themselves and the style of games they play. In total, they are eight and all of them play a range of different games making them a formidable team for any kind of game. The alpaca tells everyone about how they all got kidnapped into this game and the live stream that they are in, on which they need to reach 100 million views to make it out alive, unless they desire to spend their time going insane until the rest of their lives locked up in a white room. They are set on their second phase after Akatsuki volunteers to play. It's an Ouija board game. Akatsuki teams up with Karin, Sekiro, and Anya. They all place their fingers on the board piece and start to communicate with the spirit and fulfill its requests. The first request is for water, they give it water. The second one is for a friend. Akatsuki volunteers to be its friend. And finally, it requests for Akatsuki's life. Akatsuki starts to get pulled out the window by an unknown force. He falls out of the window but fortunately lands on the giant panda outside. He gets back inside the room and sees the spirit behind Zekiro. The spirit is crying because Akatsuki is a liar who will not die and become true friends with her. The spirit wants to be assured that he will become her friend and tries to burn the building down. He stops her by hugging the crying spirit and telling her that he will become her friend but first he needs to complete the game. They become friends and the team successfully completes the stage to receive a token-like reward called a chromosome. They get introduced to the second stage where they have to nurture an egg of a girl they'll name Murasaki. Their group is Akatsuki, Himiko, Makino, and Anya. They start the game and their first task is to warm the egg until they can hatch it. They bring in a heater inside, lighting up the fireplace and boiling water to make the process faster. They finally sit around it and hold hands together to state their idea of an attractive girl they want to hatch. Murasaki thinks about a girl with an afro and Akatsuki just thinks about meeting the huge panda again. The egg cracks and hatches a person with a panda face and an afro. But Murasaki gets conscious of her looks and gets into her depressive state as she realizes that she won't ever find love in her life. They take her to a school of girls. Akatsuki and Makino dress up as girls and infiltrate the school grounds. They keep an eye on the charming idol teacher of the school who is supposed to fall in love with Murasaki to complete their stage. They find out that he is an insecure guy who uses his good looks to feed his narcissistic persona. Murasaki uses all her heart and tears to make the teacher a muffin. When she goes to give it to him, he ridicules her after she closes the door, calling her a monster. Murasaki makes more muffins to give to her new family and hugs them goodbye as she tearfully says that she is happy. She has found all the love she needs in them. She vanishes and marks their stage as cleared, earning them a second chromosome. After all the players return to the tower, Kaikoku who had gone on a stroll with Sekiro, starts to tell them about what he has found. Alpaca appears and says that they're getting punished with an extreme level stage because Kaikoku and Sekiro went against the rules. They have breached security on a floor that they were not supposed to enter. The players split and Akatsuki is with Anya when they meet Karin who goes to hug him only to turn into a mimicry man-eater. Anya helps him fight it but he collapses when they run back to the other group of players in the basement. In the basement, Yuzu, a highly suspicious girl extremely obsessed with Akatsuki, comes up with a strategy to get rid of the mimicries. She asks Akatsuki to recover the dead mimicry while she goes to her room to take poison to kill the mimicries the next sunrise. For the next days they seek out the man-eaters to kill them. In the middle of the night, Akatsuki goes to the bathroom and finds Yuzu who startles him while holding a hammer. She tells him that he's an imposter after her stalking syndrome realized that he's using the wrong hand to perform small tasks. All this from her observation of Akatsuki. She could deduce that this person wasn't the real Akatsuki but a mimicry man-eater who had posed as him. Alpaca takes the players to a village of many masked people at first glance. There he says, demons appear to abduct girls and he needs the players to rescue them. They must defeat the demons and, or escape with the kidnapped girls. He takes them to the village elder who will explain how to go about their stage. When they knock on his door, a girl opens with a blade ready to kill but Kaikoku quickly defends. They meet the elder and his granddaughter, Kika. 
He explains the situation and tells they need a beautiful and voluptuous virgin to lure the demons to them. Akatsuki volunteers and Yuzu decides Makino would charm the hell out of the demons if he cross-dressed. They dress up and go to the designated place. After some time the demon appears, it's huge and suspiciously looks like the village elder. Well, that's because it's him and his granddaughter, Kika. She takes Karin hostage while revealing they are the demons they're supposed to stop. But Makino's charming eyes doesn't work because he's asleep. The elder takes Karin and Akatsuki once again volunteers to tag along because he cannot leave Karin alone. Yuzu knows where they went, because she has planted a tracking bug on Akatsuki and sends Kaikoku and Zekiro to go look them. Akatsuki and Karin are placed inside a cage like dolls. Akatsuki sees a bent bar and he slips through to get out of the cage. Kika comes back and she doesn't care because she just wants Karin. She puts Karin in a maid doll costume and makes her do her tasks like making tea. Meanwhile, Akatsuki is running around looking to be saved. He is heard by Kai and Sekiro. They regroup and discuss where the girls could possibly be. Kai asks Akatsuki to find the keys to the place the girls are kept, and Sekiro to search another place in the mansion the demons live in. Akatsuki finds the girls and goes to find the keys. He meets the elder who injures him, trying to kill him as he's actually of no use, but soon stops after being threatened by Alpaca. Akatsuki then returns to the players in the mansion to resume their escape. Kaikoku tells Akatsuki and Karin to continue their escape while he and Zekiro stay behind to deal with Kika. She calls for her granddad to help but she's utterly disappointed when he doesn't show up because of that earlier threat from Alpaca. She mocks Zekiro when he asks about his twin sister who, the reason he's in this game. Kaikoku steps in and makes her confess to not actually remembering Zekiro's sister at all. But she doesn't let up the mocks when Kai leaves. She calls him jealous of the relationship she has with her gramps. They move to stage 6 of the game and Alpaca takes them to some ancient ruins. To win this stage, a boy and a girl are paired up and must speak the truth all the way through to the depths of the ruins. Anya and Himiko are the chosen ones and they walk in. She tries to make conversation with him concerning his health. But he lies and they are soon approached by mummies. They fight their way through and they fall to the lower grounds. When they get up, they are at a door-like wall. Imiko thinks he should stick his hands into its opening, since it has openings like a mouth and eyes of an alpaca, proving to be the guardian to give them the chromosome. The guardian asks them questions. They must answer with the truth or they will be smashed by the moving walls. He questions about their first love. Then they have to compliment a person whom they rely on. They finally make it out alive after Himiko confesses she killed her older brother. The game quickly moves to stage 7 and they have to play a game of hide and seek for 3 rounds. Alpaca introduces them to 3 abnormally tall sisters who will be the seekers while the players will be the ones who hide. If the sisters find them, they'll curse them by stealing their vision and if they catch them the second time, they'll gauge out their eyeballs. It's a scary game but the players take their places in their rooms and wait for it to start. In the first round five members of the group get cursed. Since the curse can be healed by touching someone uncursed, Akatsuki and Anya save them. The second round, the tables turn and both Anya and Akatsuki are cursed. Things get out of control and all the members get cursed and no one knows how to get saved. They hear the door open and expect the worst but it's only Makino, who has not been cursed once since the game started. He saves them and for the last round, nobody gets cursed. They clear the stage and get a chromosome. The players finally get the rest of the day off and Alpaca tells them to relax and enjoy. They all decide to go to the hot springs to enjoy their time. And later while they sleep, Kaikoku reads through some files he got from Yuzu's room. They have information of the players. He read his information and finds out that his grandfather is in a critical condition. Angry, he heads up the building where he is forbidden to enter, but gets captured by Alpaca and then is locked in the white room, a room meant for dropouts of the game and mischievous players. Alpaca goes to see the players for their next stage. They ask him about Kaikoku's whereabouts and then that he's in the white room for punishment for breaking one of the rules. Akatsuki then refuses to continue with the game one player short. This prompts everyone to protest and Alpaca starts to panic. He devises a challenge to help the players recover Kai and get him out of the room. He gives them a puzzle with potential passcodes to the white room but it may take them more than 24 hours to complete. Meanwhile, Kaikoku finds a tunnel and meets Zekiro's twin sister. They get to know each other before Kai goes back up to the room to get recovered by the gang. The puzzle proves to be way too long and too hard, even for its master player, Yuzu. She gets overwhelmed by the peer pressure and asks for everyone to leave except for Karin. She works tirelessly until she gets sick. Karin runs to get help and while she's gone, Alpaca completes the puzzle and says that Yuzu owes him one for helping her this time. 
The players finally get inside and call out to Kaikoku who was still underground. He comes up but first makes a promise to Zekiro's sister that he won't tell her brother that he found her. She has a new family and doesn't want to leave them. Kai gets recovered and he goes to see Yuzu who is bedridden from solving the puzzle. She confesses she's working for Alpaca. She's the person recording the information first-handed while they play the games. The game is at stage 9 and Alpaca is reluctant to enter the room where the players are because they were mad at him for taking Kaikoku to the white room. Akatsuki tells him that he's forgiven him already and wants to get to it immediately. Alpaka introduces them to the game of simulation and explains further what they need to do. They get into their link units and synchronize with their avatars. Kaikoku, Yuzu, Himiko and Makino get child versions of themselves. In the other hand, Akatsuki, Anya, Zakuro and Karin must raise them. The challenge ends when the buds on their heads bloom. They have to give them love and it works on baby Himiko, Kaikoku and Yuzu. Their buds bloom and the players clear the stage. But Makino's bud doesn't bloom. Akatsuki asks to continue the game to release Makino from his sadness and make him smile. They all means but Makino remains in his child state. Akatsuki finds his real youth body and talks to him about love. And that he should move on even when the love is unreciprocated. Makino realizes that he's not so lonely as he has his fellow players. The team prompts Zekiro to call Makino by his first name as they are peers. When he does, baby Makino's bud blooms into a hilarious afro. Alpaca calls the players to a bonus round game. They'll be playing for two hours just to have fun and enjoy the moment. They are given coins by Alpaca at the beginning of the game and all they have to do is gamble and win more coins to buy stuff or lose all the coins and sit out of the fun. They explore the games and Kaikoku finds one with pipes leading to who knows where, he disappears and reappears later. Akatsuki decides to do the same and explore a dice board game. At first, Akatsuki gets to fight his slime blob self as per the instruction of the board game. He wins the fight by becoming friends with his opponent. The second time, he falls through a dark hole that appears on the board as per the instruction of the tile he lands on. He sees visions of a woman and nothing much else. Imiko asks for help from the others. They ask for help from Paka who tells them that there's nothing he can do, but assures that Akatsuki won't get hurt but he'll be stuck wherever he is forever if they don't rescue him in time. They come up with a plan to wish him back as it's one of the things they can do there. But to get the wish they have to have enough coins. None of them have coins except for Makino, but even his aren't enough to reach the required amount. Yuzu is unwilling to lose the one she loves, and finally decides to go all in and bet all of the coins to buy a wish and bring him back. They win the gamble win the game by wishing him to come back. This is all for this anime. Give the video a like, and I will see you in the next minutes.